it was uh, very well organized, a very uh, slick process of getting the appointment. And um, I was quite impressed. Dr. David Matthews of the Algonquin Family Health Team in Muskoka is one of 400 medical staff workers with Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare who have started receiving their first dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccination. It's a process that Dr. Matthews says is something that was important to him to take on. So there was a huge sense of relief when uh, I got that email on Sunday that within 24 hours I was going to be uh, on the way to uh, getting protected. But the other important thing that I think everyone needs to understand, because some people may think, well, I personally am not going to be at high risk. Um, I think there's a moral and ethical obligation to protect those around you. Um, and this is one of the ways to do that. You, of course, wear a mask to protect people around you. But if you really want to protect those around you, get a vaccination. For mother and wife, Dr. Kirsten Jewell, the reasons for getting the vaccine hit much closer to home. I have been looking forward to this vaccine rollout uh, because any protection that I can have makes me feel more comfortable that I'm not bringing something home to my family, which has been a source of anxiety for me for the last eight, nine months now. Uh, it also provides protection to my patients. If I'm an asymptomatic carrier and within close contact, I mean, I'm inches away from my patients' faces throughout my day at work. And despite wearing all of your appropriate PPE, you always wonder, could there be a breach and uh, that puts you or your patients at risk. And so the more healthcare workers that are vaccinated, the less our workforce will be compromised if there are local outbreaks and the safer our patients will be and the safer my family will be. Dr. Matthews says anyone working in the medical field should understand their obligation and to get vaccinated and protect not only themselves, but everyone they interact with. The science is uh, on the side of getting the vaccine. The um, long-term... Uh, effects of any medication take a long time to figure out and we've only known about this one since november so of course we're you know we have not got the data yet that we think we need to answer those questions that's going to take a year or two um, obviously but this is an emergency situation and in an emergency situation you have to take the best available uh, methods and apply them and that is exactly what we're doing here uh, we have got millions of doses already in people's arms across North America and Europe, and uh, so far so good. So uh, I, uh, I'm just fine with it, and I am pleased to see that the majority of my colleagues and, work and allied workers are going ahead with it.